Okay, today we're going to show you how to effectively and correctly handcuff them. So I'm going to bring out my assistant here, Justice. As you can see, he's already handcuffed. So you'll notice here that the handcuffs are on the suspect. The keyholes are facing up, and we are double locked, and that's a safety check as we squeeze the bars. They do not go any further down. And so now we will show you how to get to this final. We'll unlock him by turning the key both clockwise and counterclockwise to unlock the safety and to release the bar. We first go uh, clockwise to unlock the safety and then go counterclockwise to unlock the handcuffs. So the first thing we need to do is take the handcuffs here. You'll notice that the keyholes we're going to place down into the palm of your hand as the proper configuration. That way when we handcuff, the keyholes are facing up and we don't have difficulty going underneath where we put ourselves in jeopardy. So once you have your handcuffs placed properly to the palm of your hand, or in your strong hand, you approach the suspect and in a command voice, we tell him to turn around and place his hand behind his back. The suspect's going to do that for us. When we approach him with our handcuffs, we always want to go away from our strong hand first. That's our strongest motion is pushing away. So I will come up here. You can tell him to interlace his fingers if you would like. If he interlaces his fingers, you can grab a hold of these fingers and gain positive control of your suspect. At this point, I'm going to push him a little bit forward. This puts him at a position of disadvantage in case he tries to struggle. I can push him. I control him here. I pull his hands out. And again, a cross motion going across from me. I'm going to go ahead and place the single arm down on the now. You don't want to smack these on. It's not like a Law and Order or CSI or movies. You want to place them on there so you don't break his wrist. Place them on and then you push. You hear the ratcheting sound of the handcuffs as they go on. You push again and you can go ahead and tighten those up and drop the hand. But notice my strong hand never leaves the chain, gaining positive control. So now we'll give you an up close uh, view of how to go ahead and use these handcuffs. There's the keyhole, and right here is the double lock. We're going to use this portion of the key, this top portion of the key to insert and push inward and that locks this single arm here. So you'll notice you can't push it down. This side I have not locked, it is not double locked and you'll notice that it freely goes through as you push it. As soon as I insert the key, push forward again into the body of the handcuff, it can't go any further. That is the safety check or the double lock. Then you take your key normally, you insert it. And when you turn, again, counterclockwise, that unlocks the safety. You notice I just, by unlocking the safety, I just can ratchet freely now. After I go counterclockwise to unlock the safety, I turn it clockwise, and that releases the handcuff completely. 